Hello everyone, this is John. Um, welcome to my golf channel, John Hutton Golf Channel UK. And um, I've had a few uh, little comments by people who I play with and about how do you hit the driver like a Phil Mickelson bomb. People say you keep mentioning these bombs, how do you hit a Phil Mickelson bomb? So I'm just going to do some very simple tips before it gets darker on the 15th here. I'm going to finish off on the 16th and go back. But uh, I'm just going to do a quick video for you. Um, now I'm not really the man who should be teaching you this. Phil's the master. He's the guy who knows how to hit the high bombs. He's the man who should be teaching you, not me. But um, basically he's got a few videos up. And basically the technique I do, everything I do is copying Phil. But I'll try and do it as simple as I can, how Phil does it and how I try and emulate it. Um, and then I'll show you a few examples of the course of a can. I've got my new driver that's just come, so it mightn't work out too well here. And obviously, we're not going to see where the ball's going because it's getting dark. But basically, the high bomb, it's uh, it's not what you'd call a fairway finder. It's not your, your most reliable driver. This is the one where you target a few holes. So, for example, on Billingham, I would target sort of the fourth, the ninth, possibly the tenth, the, the par five, so I can carry the stream in two probably the 15th there's only going to be so so many holes four or five holes that i would target it's only going to give you an extra 10 yards of distance don't think this is the be all and end all it's going to give you 20 30 40 yards i'd be telling the fib it doesn't but what it does is it clears all the garbage it gives you high penetrating ball flight that gets you over the garbage gets you carry instead of roll if it works for phil it should work for us uh, the first thing i'm going to try and do it in, in simple steps First thing is, it's not it's a not driver's a completely different club. You should have the ball in the front of your stand the front of your stance anyway, but it goes just behind the front foot. That's number one. The second tip is wider base. You have a much wider base, so you have more stability because you're gonna be trying to really launch it. And when you have more stability in your legs, especially the front leg, it gives you more um, control over the shot. Third thing is you want to have this foot if you are a slicer. If you're a slice, if you don't slice the ball, this doesn't really apply to you. But if you want the person who slices the ball, because you're leaning slightly back, you've got to open the face a little bit more, which promotes the slice. If you have got a problem with the slice, just put your front foot a little bit further forward than your back foot. So that should counteract that. The next one is full uh, strong top hand grip. The strong Try and hold your bottom hand lightly, strong top hand grip. This gives you an extra bit of whip, a little bit more power and a little bit more uh, carry on the drive as you're hitting on the up like that. Just flick, you can flick, you flick the wrist through, it gives you a little bit extra power. Lastly, most players just get to here with the drives. They don't use the full body turn. You want a nice rounded full body turn, the arms and the body rotation go together as such so you can get it way past the perpendicular and just get that extra five or six yards out of you that's how you do it in, in in theory let's see if we can do it in practice as i say it's getting dark now um and my new driver's just come so i'm not used to it but we'll try and see if we can do it um with my new driver so then, 50s, we're not going to see where the ball's going because it's foggy and everything, but basically just in front of your front foot, front foot slightly ahead of your back, as such, lean, tilt, wider base as I've got, not like a normal shot where you're just like that, it's a wider base, and tilt slightly backwards, strong top hand grip, and a full body rotation, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Lost my balance a little bit, but it's straight down the middle. Now this, now this driver, I'm not quite used to it. It didn't quite get the carry that I wanted. It's a low spinning driver, and I'm just trying to work out how to get a bit more carry with it. It's designed for a low penetrating bite. So I'm just getting used to it. But you'll take that, that's, that's a great drive. Do it again, slightly in front of the stance. Just, in, uh, just behind your front foot, front foot slightly ahead, wider base, 
tilt slightly back just tilt slightly back giving you that little more extra height you're hitting on the up remember with a drive it's not like an iron you're hitting it on the up full body rotation remember to hit on the up that's what we're doing with this and that is exactly what I wanted for carrying everything I can see it, it's where that orange tree is but unfortunately my line wasn't quite right it's just pushed off to the right like I said this isn't a drive that's a fair way finder for you we'll give it one more go that was almost, almost perfect the only thing was I was slightly offline this isn't a fair way finder this is a risky drive that's trying to give you that extra 8 to 10 yards out of you it's really pushing you and it's more about carry distance rather than roll not really a shot you want to be doing when it's windy or links golf but if there's a certain hole like this a long par 4 430 yards that you want to target it's a good drive to have in the locker just slightly in front of the stance again and my front foot sorry front foot slightly ahead wider base a strong top hand grip leaning slightly back on the ball full body rotation here we go that's perfect that is a bomb that's perfect it's got the jet pilot flight where it went up like that and that's what you do when you hit the ball on the up you'll find the ball's got a little bit more spin so when it's got more spin on it from hitting on the up doing that it's gonna raise up like that you carry all the garbage you carry all the rubbish if you hit it straight down the middle you get the most carry distance and probably gain between 5 and 10 yards as an amateur like me you'll probably gain at the most 10 yards maybe not so much in winter but in the summer 10-15 yards extra great dive to have if you've got a long par 4 or a short par 5 you want to target and that's how you do it this is John from John Hutton Golf Channel um, if those little tips those 5 simple steps have helped you please comment below um, if there's other ways that you know how to hit Phil Mickelson bombs like that please comment below um, let's try and help each other it's all a community here and everything you know and that's it that's great so um, keep subscribing liking my channel and I'll see you later bye for now bye